Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. I'm shooting, shooting today from my new restaurant, uh, Tony and Nick's. It's Monday. We're closed. This is a little sneak peek if you haven't been here or seen it. There's my uh, lemons for my lemon water that I talk about every morning. I'm actually shooting with my iPhone today, which I do here and there. Um, I'm shooting from my iPhone with my laptop, and it's quiet here, so I can get some work done. So I'm just sitting at the bar. And uh, a lot of people have mentioned to me about McDonald's having an organic burger. Now, keep in mind, this is only in Germany. And they're like, Marcus, what do you think of McDonald's's organic burger? Their organic burger. They're moving in the right direction, people are saying. Um, so... Here's my opinion on the McDonald's organic hamburger. First of all, McDonald's is, is scared. They're super scared. They're losing sales. They're losing market share. They're trying to revive the company. People just don't eat like they used to. But that's one side of it. The other side of it is that there's more options than we used to have. So before, it was just like McDonald's, Burger King, Arby's. You know, you go through the 80s and through the 90s, there wasn't all these innovative fast food places to eat. There wasn't Chipotle grills. There wasn't Panera Breads. There wasn't places that were like that. When you were traveling and looking for food, you know, you either got a Cracker Barrel on, on a major uh, stop on the highway, or you got these these fast food these fast food places. And of course, the country has been loaded with small pockets, you know, throughout the country, like In and Out Burgers, and certain parts of the country, and and uh, you know, in Tennessee or whatever that it is for those places. But on a global scale or a national scale, McDonald's is losing market share to all these other places now, and they're scared. So they're saying that the Bio Burger, Bio means organic, and and in European lay language. Uh, so their bio burger, it's labeled bio, their bio burger is a seven week experiment in Germany. Now, why did they offer this in Germany and not the US? You know, as, as much as organic is growing and has grown and continues to grow, takes leaps and bounds, I think they, they thought they'd have a much better reception with the bio burger, with the organic burger in Germany, in a European country. So, but the burger is being criticized. The burger is being criticized quite heavily, and I found several articles of this criticism. So, um, the McB, they're calling it the McB, organic burger, green or green washing. In Germany, McDonald's has released its first organic hamburger in response to popular demand. So, they're saying the demand is in Germany. Uh, the company says the product has been criticized, but could it help promote organic agriculture? So here's the thing, anytime you see the word organic anywhere, that's gonna help promote the organic. The organic mission, the organic, the organic industry, organic awareness, which is why I said when Chipotle put that sign out, no, no GMOs, people who've never heard of GMOs might now be aware of what GMOs are. At some point in everybody's life, we're gonna be introduced to the word organic. We're gonna be introduced to the word, to GMOs. We're gonna be introduced to these words that we don't know what they are. So for McDonald's right now, they're introducing five-year-olds to the word organic, right? And they might be introducing a 35-year-old to the word organic for the first time that's used to eating at McDonald's. So I think that by by seeing a big company put these keywords up, I think, especially for Chipotle to put up, and you know, by the way, McDonald's and Chipotle, same company, um, by Chipotle putting up the GMO sign, by McDonald's putting up the bio, the organic sign, I think a lot of people are gonna say, wow, if a big company's doing this, maybe, maybe there's some validity to it. Maybe there's, maybe there's, this is a real thing. So by McDonald's putting an organic burger on, a lot of people that are doubting the organic industry may be saying, wow, this may be a real thing if McDonald's themselves are looking into an organic burger or launching an organic burger. So this is only a seven week experiment. Now here's where the criticism is coming in. The patty itself is organic. So the beef patty is coming from organic beef. However, I'm not sure, I'm not sure the, 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 I couldn't really find any prices, price differentials. Um, everything else on the burger is the same. And this is where the critics are saying, okay, you're giving us the organic patty, 
but nothing else is organic. We're getting the same pickles, we're getting the same mayo, we're getting the same mustard, we're getting the same ketchup, we're getting the same lettuce, we're getting the same burger bun. We're getting the same chemicals, the same everything else, but you're just giving us that. You're just giving us one element. So it's not, the whole burger's not organic, it's just one component of the burger is organic. So I think that right there is where the criticism is coming from. They're saying it's not fully organic. So, I think it's a step in the right direction. I think it's going to bring a lot of awareness, like I said. But if you think you're going to go to McDonald's to eat a fully organic hamburger and get organic fries, and you're being, you're being very, very, very misled. Would I like to see this thing blow up and say, okay, this was popular, and now people really want the rest of the burger to be organic? That would be great. Um, I believe they also offered a veggie burger, too, simultaneously. Um, to this. I'm not sure if it's in this article. It's on my computer right now. Um, McDonald's has consumer trends. Veggie and organic are big. Veggie and organic are big trends in Germany, and we are just responding to those trends, or what McDonald's is saying. Um, so I, you, you can do a Google search for this, and you'll find hundreds and hundreds of articles. So I'm not sure where I saw it, but uh, maybe, maybe it was this article or not. This is a big article. Uh, with the veggie burger as well. But McDonald's, McDonald's is scared. In America here, they're offering all-day breakfast now. They've switched big marketing plan, egg McMuffins, their breakfast available all day long. So they're, they're willing to try anything at this point. And uh, you got to give them credit for trying because they, they're obviously losing market share and they're seeing that, that this is, the, they're seeing the game is changing. The game is definitely changing on how we eat and how we think. So McDonald's, good job for awareness, good job for doing it, but you know, ultimately, I'd like to see it go to the next step with along, with other, lot, long, along with a lot of other consumers. Now, with this, make, now, keep in mind, I don't eat McDonald's, I don't eat meat. But a couple of people who do eat meat, I've spoken to, who like organic, and I said, with this, with this, how, how, would this detour, would this help you go into McDonald's, an organic burger? And they all said, no, it wouldn't. I asked like four or five people that I know that are diehard organic. They want to eat grass-fed meat. They want to eat organic meat. And I said, would this make you go? And they're like, no, Marcus, it wouldn't make us go. Because we know it's just, it's a company that's not behind the mission totally. And they lose a lot of credibility when, when companies do that. So this is why, for example, this is why companies, these big conglomerates, don't create their own organic brands. They don't create, you don't see, you know, you don't see a massive a company saying, oh, uh, let's say Heinz, for example. Heinz might have an organic ketchup, maybe they don't, but Heinz organic ketchup. It's easier for their parent company to buy an organic ketchup company to begin with because they want that trademark, they want that name, and they don't want the confusion because it really kind of dilutes what they're doing. And a lot of, some of these companies are, like McCormick Spices, the massive spice company, the biggest spice company in the country, in the U.S., is now coming out with an organic line. But, you know, at some point, it's just easier to say, okay, just buy another label that's already doing it. They've got the market share already. They've got the branding, the separate branding. See, that's the problem. People aren't trusting the McDonald's brand to really follow through with the rest of the picture. And this is what I got out of talking to people. It's the rest of the picture. Yeah, you can get one thing that's organic, but you can't get anything else. And it's just a company that's only going by a trend a trend, a fad, a consumer, consumer, if, if it's that important, if, if they see, if McDonald's sees it's that important for consumers to get organic, why don't they switch other things to organic? It's simple as that, but they're not, or they haven't yet. So time will tell, let's see what's happening. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano, thanks for watching this video. If you like my videos, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, and definitely pass it on. And what is your take on this? Would you go into McDonald's because they're offering an organic option. Because an organic option, would that make you go into McDonald's?